so it is day seven um of vlogmas and um i told you guys that i wanted to share with you gabrielle's closet um so i'm still working on gabrielle's nursery actually her furniture and stuff just came in so you guys will be able to watch me fix up her closet do i mean her um room during vlogmas uh gabrielle's nursery theme is horses um and vintage style so it's cream black and um brown i'm very excited about that because i thought about that theme long and hard i feel like it's something that can grow with her and i also feel like i really didn't want to do a cartoon or a character um i wanted to do something more uh vintage something a little classy so I went with the horses theme. But Gabrielle's Closet is one of my favorite places in her room. Just because I am I love fashion, but also I love organization. And before I go any further, you guys, it's my birthday. Hi, guys. So it's like Vlogmas Day 7. And today is my birthday. Bittersweet. Um, December 7th, and it's about 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm woke. Um, I'm trying to corn roll my hair so that I can put on my wig. I'm having a lot of postpartum shedding, so really, this hair I know it's gonna get trimmed and blow dried out, but I just can't do it. I don't have the time to really do it right now. So I'm just braiding it down so I can put it under my wig and try to preserve um, as much of it as I possibly can. If you hear the water in the background, um, I often use the tub water. I've been doing it since Gabrielle was born um, and even while I was pregnant. Heck, even when I wasn't pregnant, I used the water as white noise. And it soothes me and it soothes Gabrielle. It helps both of us to fall asleep. So versus using my phone and YouTube, I use the actual water. And the pressure from the water helps to stimulate my brain and relax me. Um, and I find that it does the same for Gabrielle. Say hey, Gabby. And that's probably because I've been using it for her since I was born. I mean, since she was born. And um, when I delivered her, I actually did um, not a water birth, but like a pre-water relaxation um, in the jacuzzi, in the whirlpool at the hospital, because that's the way that I had trained my body to respond to the, the pain from the baby. So I was very happy about that, that the hospital had the pool, the tub, jacuzzi-like thing. It's called a whirlpool. That the hospital had the whirlpool because, honestly, I had a seamless delivery for my baby. It was absolutely perfection. Um, the aftermath wasn't perfection and, like, my expectation. I'm going to say this. The people around me wasn't perfect, which you can never expect. But my personal delivery process and my mind, if I had never been more confident in my life, I was very confident when I delivered my daughter. My face was in full activation and I felt like whatever I did over the nine months for Gabrielle, I did it right. Because when I delivered her, it was so effortless. Of course, I was crying, I was in pain, but I mean like it was, it wasn't traumatic. Um, the trauma didn't really start to postpartum, um, to after I delivered Gabrielle. So, but, um, and I, I stressed a lot um, during my pregnancy. Not really because I kind of cut the stress off, but um, I had a lot of anxiety during pregnancy. Um, and I mentioned that before, that's why I kind of like shut everything down, including like my YouTube and, um, you know, like other, like communications with people. Like that's why I cut it down because my anxiety was so high. But, um, 
See, I never had a problem with my edges, but my edges are even falling out. So, uh, I try to get some here. I use this product right here. I don't know if you guys ever heard about it. It's called Baby Don't Be Bald. I haven't used it in a very long time. Um, but since I started shedding, I thought back to a product that I used to use when I was younger. Um, and I ordered it. My auntie uh, actually introduced me into it. She had three daughters. And she used it on all of their hair. Um, I always had a lot of hair since I was a little girl. Um, and... My mom used to use like pink oil moisturizer and you know the grease and stuff like that. Um, but I really, I use Cream of Nature products for my hair. I swear by Cream of Nature products for my natural hair. And when I'm doing like twist out or I want to do like deep conditions and stuff like that, my hair has shed so bad. It's almost like, I know all of this is going to be gone, but my hair was cooler and longer than this and I really didn't take prenatal vitamins during my pregnancy um they just would make me sick and constipated oh shit I didn't flood the damn bathroom so I didn't flood the dang on bathroom Child, I didn't flood it the dang on bathroom. It's Gabrielle act like she just not sleeping. Honestly, she'll go to sleep when she's ready. She'll go to sleep when she when um she's ready, but honestly, when I put her in this little pouch, she kind of falls to sleep. But I guess she's not sleepy. There's some days when I like, yo, you have to get real creative with sleeping um, if you want to get sleep with a newborn, for real. So today is my birthday, but in exactly two, I mean, in exactly seven days, my bitty bop, that's what I call that real bitty bop, like itty bitty, because when she was little, she was small. So I call her my bitty bop. Oh, yeah, you got to get, I was saying, you got to get very creative with your sleep. And um, get it by any means necessary. But she likes to fall asleep in this kangaroo pouch. Um, sometimes she do if she's sleepy. But I'm guessing my baby is not sleepy because she's woke and she's wide awake, y'all. But today is my birthday and... I'll probably take some pictures with Gabrielle. I have this stunning dress that I'm wearing this weekend. Um, we're going to go out to dinner. On Friday, we're going to have a traveling masseuse to come over. So we're going to get massages and we're going to set the house up. Uh, we're going to set both the hallway bathroom and the back room, Gabrielle's nursery bathroom. We're going to set it up like a spa. I'm going to have balloons all around the house. Um, you guys will be with me when I decorate, so this vlog is going to get much more interesting than me uh, doing my meat meals braids. <laughs> um, so there will be some excitement in this vlog. Um, or it might be like on day 8, 9, I don't know. Yeah, it probably be on day, today the 7th, it's going to be on day 10 because the masseuse is coming on the 10th. And then on the 11th is when you guys will see me get ready in my stunning dress. But I think for the 7th, I'm going to include, no, for the 8th. So for the 8th, so uh, today I get a chance to be in my creative element and try to get some good pictures. Now, Gabrielle is still only three and a half months. Well, three months and three weeks. And so, um, it's still kind of hard to get her, like, to pose, you know, and not cry and stuff like that. So, I'm going to try to get as creative as I can. 
she actually did good for the vlogmas video um if you watch the videos to the end i have an end snippet where i say have you been a good little girl this christmas and gabrielle starts busting up laughing and she was perfect on cue so that worked out perfect and then like if i shoot her like um like a hundred like if i take like 50 pictures i'm guaranteed to get about 10 perfect ones out of gabrielle so i can say that she's very photogenic um she definitely have angles because my baby is she's she has different facial features from different sides my baby looks different it's always weird to me it depends on how i capture her so um you know you always want to ca capture your baby's best moment so I'm, I always manage to get very good photos of Gabrielle. Um, she's a shining star, so she's she's definitely very photogenic. Um, I like to get photos of her when she cries because she's in her natural element, and I remember cries. I remember cries when I was a little girl, and um, I mean pictures of me crying when I was a little girl. So I know how valuable those moments are. I don't be wanting to just throw the pictures away because she's crying because it's like, it really doesn't matter, you know? Um, today, again, is my birthday and I'm in a very tight space. But I'm just trying to be in good spirit because there's just some things in life that you just can't control. And a lot of things have been out of my control since I had Gabrielle, well, since I got pregnant with Gabrielle. And even before, but now that I have a baby, it's hard because I, I have to be in control. There's no losing control when you have a baby. Like, they're depending on you. You know, so the fact that I have this situation going on is very mind boggling for me. But I have a certain level of peace because what God has for me is for me. And if it's not for me and it's, it has expired, then I have to throw away, throw it away. You know what I'm saying? So whatever the results of it is, I'm I'm just going to go with the punches. Me and my baby are getting healthier. Um, she's growing so fast. She's getting ready to be four months already. She's like taking her pacifier out of my hand and putting it in her mouth. Like sometimes when she touched me, I feel like a grown person is touching me. And I guess that's because my baby has big hands. But her authority, her spirit is so big that she's like a big person. Sometimes I have to sit her down and kind of look at her um, across the room to remember how small she really is because I always hold her. So she's, uh, it's just so much psychology, but I hold her all the time. So she's always like up close on me and she appears bigger. But when I put her down, of course, I get to really capture her real size. Um, I can't wait till I can start to like put product in Gabrielle's hair. In all actuality, I might start this month um, putting product well, when she turns four months, I might go ahead and start putting product in her hair. Right now, I just use um, her baby bath shampoo, but my baby needs some moisturizer and stuff like that. I'm all done with my meat meal sprays. I'm all done. These braids are going to go underneath my wig, so... They don't have to be anything extravagant. But I'll see you guys later. Gabrielle is out for the count, which means I need to transfer her out the kangaroo and put her in the bed and try to slide in the bed too. It's a whole method to the madness, but 
I'm getting ready to go do it. I'm sleep deprived. I got more sleep than I did yesterday. But y'all, I'm tired. I really want to call out of work today because I'm just so overwhelmed. It's so much going on. But um, I don't know if you guys know about health care, but it's AEP season, which is open enrollment. And so it's very, very busy. And it's bonus season. And so I don't really want to call out when I'm going to be missing a big chunk of money. So it's like follow a lot of law. One day could risk you $450. I'm like, do I want to risk $450 for one day off? It's like, you know. But whatever, y'all. I'm really in a funk. I'm not in a good mood. If you guys could tell, it is my birthday. And I've had better days. So to be having a shitty day on my birthday is not rewarding. But I'm used to it. So, um, I'm just not in a good mood. Not in a good headspace. And, uh, I'll see you guys later. Hi, guys. So, it is day seven. Um, of vlogmas and um, I told you guys that I wanted to share with you Gabrielle's closet um, so I'm still working on Gabrielle's nursery actually her furniture and stuff just came in so you guys will be able to watch me fix up her closet do I mean her um, room during vlogmas uh, Gabrielle's nursery theme is horses um, and vintage style so it's cream black and um brown i'm very excited about that because i thought about that theme long and hard i feel like it's something that can grow with her and i also feel like i really didn't want to do a cartoon or a character um i wanted to do something more uh vintage something a little classy so i went with the horses theme but gabrielle's closet is one of my favorite places in her room just because i'm a, i love fashion but also I love organization. And before I go any further, you guys, it's my and birthday. I don't know why. So today is December 7th. And I don't know why in my mind I keep wanting to say that it's my 27th birthday. I must have had an ugly year at 27 and I wanted to do over. Because for some reason I keep on saying today is my 27th birthday and I'm actually turning 32. So I don't know why that keeps happening to me. But anyway, kind of bizarre. But Gabrielle's closet is one of my favorite places in her in the house just because she has a walk-in closet. I actually chose to give Gabrielle the biggest room in the house because I wanted my baby to feel like royalty. I wanted her to feel just uh I just wanted her to feel I don't know, just everything big everything royal that's the way i wanted my baby to feel so gabrielle has a walk-in closet i'm going to share with you guys i'm organizing it because i am a stickler for organization but today i'm going to be taking out some of gabrielle's brand new clothes because i need to wash them so that she can wear them some of them i need to take back like gabrielle's dad was really the only person that bought her newborn size clothes which i'm glad that he did because gabrielle came out smaller than we anticipated but she didn't get to wear all of them. She grew really quick. So I have some onesies here that I need to take back and some onesies that I need to wash because I wash everything um, before Gabrielle wears it. So I have, I'm just, and I did some washing. So I'm just going to switch some stuff out the closet um, and hang some stuff up. So I'm going to take some stuff out and hang some stuff up. But first, let me show you guys Gabrielle's closet. Okay, you guys, so this is Gabrielle's closet. And as you can see, it is a walk-in closet. I love my baby's closet. Um, it's not quite finished yet. Um, she has stuff everywhere. Like I'm literally still like organizing clothes and it's just everything everywhere. But I'll tell you guys how I have her closet set up. So as you can see, all of Gabrielle's shoes are up here and then there are some shoes behind the shoes um back there now these are all gabrielle's clothes um like onesies and stuff like that i kind of put her outerwear to the back and clothes that are larger sizes to the back um because she'll grow into it so these clothes right here like these onesies 
um i have to get gabrielle to wear like all of this stuff right here that her dad bought because she's not a newborn anymore some of this stuff she can still fit but it's like cutting real thin and it still needs to be washed so i'm at the point now where i want to maybe have him to return these things and get them in a larger size or i'm gonna have to rush her to wear them now so i'm gonna take that stuff out and i did some laundry so i have some clothes over here for gabrielle that i need to hang up now that picture right there is a horse portrait and this is actually a sneak peek that is one of the the portraits that's going to go on gabrielle's nursery wall so, um i ordered that picture off of amazon and i ordered that one i ordered that one specifically because the two horses in harmony reminds me of gabrielle and my niece malia so that's why i got that one now up here i this is where i storage like gabrielle's pampers this is usually like filled with pampers i have to restock on pampers this is gabrielle's um bowls and bonnets um inside of there i usually put gabrielle's socks there this is where she has like all of her soaps i put all of her soaps and lotions over there so we have to replenish um on some things because we're low in stock this was a belly cast that i had from maternity but because i had gabrielle two weeks early i wasn't able to do my belly cast so i'm actually going to be doing something very special with the belly cast um i'm gonna be painting it rainbow and i'm gonna put it in gabrielle's room with some words of affirmation on it to go on her entertainment center um this is a handprint footprint that me and gabrielle needs to do this is just a little product crossbody purse that gabrielle's auntie bought her um a baby doll um another plush doll these are towels these are her bibs this is where i usually storage her white tees these are her little face masks she can't fit those yet and this over here this uh book is called when god made you i love that little book her, um her auntie actually bought her that book and these blocks right here i actually use to track gabrielle's age so right now gabrielle is three months um she's three months and three weeks so she would be four months on the 14th so that's gabrielle's closet um it's not quite done yet i'm trying to decide if i'm going to get a entertainment i mean not an entertainment center a um like portable chest of drawer to go right here or if this is just going to be storage for toys because gabrielle has um she has her bassinet she has her swing she's gonna have her walker she has all of these different go-go gadgets toys her toy box all of that stuff is going to need a place to be stored so i'm thinking that i might use this area for storage especially because the two-piece set that i have for gabrielle um gabrielle's room um it has drawers on it so i may not need to do that um so that's a little sneak peek of gabrielle's closet i'm gonna go ahead and hang these clothes up and take some clothes down in the closet um but yeah so i have i'm still working on her nursery and it's coming along so slow because i have so much that i have to do and the postpartum was kind of a setback for me so i did kind of you know like lay back off of it a little bit and i need to hang pictures on the wall and it's just me i'm just one person and i had to prioritize things you know accordingly gabrielle barely sleeps in her well she doesn't sleep in her nursery at all gabrielle sleeps with me every night but because she's getting ready to turn four months i want to start grooming her to prepare her to sleep in her own room and um by the and i always bring gabrielle into her closet and walk her around and say this is yours this is your room you know because i want her to feel very special making gabrielle feel feel special is one of my biggest priorities and so i always try to do that now she feels special because i love her but i also want her to know that she can have nice things i'm not raising a materialistic child but i'm raising a child that will have standards in life and she doesn't feel like she has to have um be cheap about things or she has to put everybody before herself you know i don't want gabrielle to feel like that i want her to feel like a priority i want her to feel like she can take good care of herself 
herself. I want her to have good pride in herself. You know, I also want her to be meek and humble, but I want to show my baby that she deserves great things. So I try to keep it organized so that she can come in here and enjoy the color sceneries, you know, and see her different outfits and shoes and glitters. And my baby is actually very, very intelligent for her age. She's very focused and she's very attentive. So I know that she's grasping it. My baby loves colors and she also loves hair. She loves hair. Ever since my baby was little, if I would change my hair or my wig, my baby would always notice. She would just stare at my hair like in amazement. She loves when I wear my natural afro out because she thinks it's so funny to see my hair flopping around. So she's a very unique child and I want to cultivate that uniqueness that my baby has. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking this stuff down because all of this stuff needs to go into Gabrielle's dirty clothes. Um, actually, I think that, well, I'll put this in the dirty clothes for now, but I need to decide if I'm going to have this stuff taken back. Because actually, she could still wear it. It's going to be tight. Um, yeah, I'm going to see if her dad like, still has the receipts for this stuff. And if he can take it back, if not, I'll just wash it so that she can wear it and get it out the way. Because I think by the time she's four months, because I think this stuff is zero. Yeah, this is newborn, but it has stretch in it. So she'll be able to wear it, but she won't be able to wear it for long. But at least she'll get one wear out of it. Um, but if he wants her to have it, then he'll just have to find the receipt or take it back for exchange wherever he got it from so all of this stuff needs to be washed and so yeah and the holidays is coming so gabrielle has like all of these holiday little um onesies and stuff that i bought for her so i need to start getting this stuff ready because we're doing vlogmas and if you know it's perfect for vlogmas because it's very festive clothing so i need to get this stuff washed it's a hassle having so many clothes for my baby because i have to have this stuff washed before she wear it she's older now so her immune system is stronger so so every now and again if i really need for her to um if I really need for her to wear something, then I'll go ahead and let her wear. But I still either steam it some type of way. I sanitize it because I just don't want her to break out um, and stuff like that. She also has these little dresses for holiday outfits too. Very festive little outfits. So I do want to go ahead and get that stuff washed. Um, she has this. This was her Hocus Pocus shirt. And she wore this. I don't see it, but she actually wore this with her orange tutu and some uh, leg warmers for Halloween. So um, this is going to go in the back of her closet. She could still wear it and it's hocus pocus. I mean, even though it's not Halloween anymore, who cares? It's a pretty onesie. And she could still wear it until she doesn't wear it anymore. The only thing about having so many clothes for Gabrielle is that we hardly go outside like that because of COVID. So, like, the vlogging and, like, you know, being a YouTuber allows me to, like, get a use out of these clothes. But I hate the fact that we're not going anywhere. So, I was telling a lot of moms, like, buy a lot of onesies and, like, loungewear and stuff like that. Especially if your kid is not in daycare or anything like that and gabrielle's not in daycare so she hardly leaves the house but i do have to change her almost like two to three times a day because like she's spitting up she's getting better with her spitting up but she would spit up on her onesies and they would be wet and everything so yeah you want to have a lot of onesies and stuff like that but as far as like outfits during covid it's just it's useless it's really kind of just useless because she's not going anywhere so I try to organize her closet like up front. I like to put outfits that's already comes together. And then I like to put like onesies, rompers and stuff like that. This is one of my favorite little jogger suits. It says mommy's mini with the little leopard print on the side. I'm a very retro dresser. Um, so I love for Gabrielle to be in like sporty stuff. 
even though i'm very like i like her to be in feminine stuff too but i like her to be in very like retro chic style um yeah so i'm just hanging this stuff up um Gabrielle is asleep. She cried <laughs> while I put my makeup on. But today's my birthday. I'm not celebrating today. On Friday, we, we are having a traveling masseuse. And I'll vlog that for you guys. We're having a traveling masseuse to come over who's going to do um, full body massages. I'm going to get a prenatal massage. And my sister is going to get a full body Swedish massage. So we're going to have that. We're going to decorate stockings with the girls. I'm going to try to bake me a birthday cake. I am not a pastry baker. So I've never baked the cake before. And I want to try to bake me one. I'm very creative. So I do want to try and decorate it or whatever like that. And I know my little niece will enjoy that with me. And maybe today I'll go in there and finish putting the ornaments. I mean, put the lights around the tree and put the ornaments around the tree. Um, the theme for my tree is the Ohana family tree. Ohana is my daughter's middle name. I may have mentioned this before, but the Ohana family tree is supposed to be like a lifetime tree with like pictures on it. So it's going to have like all different memories of Gabrielle and family members and stuff like that on the tree. And then there's a sign that says Ohana that I ordered off of Etsy. And I actually got an email that it arrived today. And I have such a rant that I'm going to go on when I'm dead putting the ornaments on the tree. But I'll go out there and put the ornaments on the tree after I do this stuff. And you guys can come along with me. So you won't be bored. Um, I'm in the house. It's not that much for me to do. But I do try to stay busy even though I'm in the house. I try to find fun things to do. Most of the time I'm like doing stuff for Gabrielle because that's keeping me the most entertained and she's the most important thing that's in the house right now so she kind of keeps me busy let me check on her yeah she's knocked out and so that really keeps me busy so that's what i'm doing right now just cleaning up her space i you know we're transitioning into me not holding her all the time gabrielle is very spoiled and i'm happy to say that she's my daughter and you know, I give her an undivided amount of attention, but now she's getting older and I have chores and stuff that I need to do. So sometimes I have to sit her down and she cries and I hate it. And I'm just feeling like a bad mom on the inside. But then I have to tell myself like, no, you're not being a big bad mom. A bad mom will be allowing her to live in a house full of filth. That would be a bad mom. So putting her down, if she's going to cry, she's going to get a little bit of frustrated. But let her cry a little bit. Like, don't let her cry hysterically because I want her to know I'm here. I'm coming back. Mommy's with you. Um, I introduce you guys to her, our family dog, Hero. And so Hero, I try to keep Hero with her to entertain her and kind of make her laugh. He's her plush dog. If this is your first time watching this channel, it's not a real dog. I do want to get Gabrielle a real dog. But right now, it's just too soon for me because I already have one child. And a dog is a big responsibility. And keeping the house clean has already been a struggle with me just having a new baby. So getting a dog right now is not my first priority. So she has Hero and Hero talks via me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm going to go and finish this. And then we'll probably go out and um put the loops on the ornaments and then i'll start to no we'll we'll put the lights around the tree and i have a crazy rant well i could just yeah i got a crazy rant that i'll talk to you guys about then but i'm gonna go ahead and finish with the clothes Okay, you guys, so that's that. I went ahead and put the hung the laundry up for Gabrielle. I have tons I of I have stuff. this whole basket of things right here to wash. It's full, you guys. It's full. Hey, Boogie. <laughs> you guys, Gabrielle is 
up now, but she's not really up. But I'm going to tend to her, probably make her a bottle. I don't know if I'm going to get around to decorating the tree. I'm a little bit tired, but I'll see you guys either in another clip or on Vlogmas Day 8. Have you been a good little girl this Christmas? Because if you have not, you're going to go on.